It's an iconic symbol of summer, the swimming pool, and a growing chorus of people is saying they shouldn't stay empty this summer. The pool is where families get together. It's fun. It's um, kids just being kids. Kathy Young helped start the group Save Our Summer. It's affiliated with an online petition calling for pools to be allowed to open, which gathered nearly 15,000 signatures in one week. It tells me that in that short amount of time, we had a lot of people that believe the same way we do. And we have a lot of people that want their kids to have um, as normal of a summer as possible. Governor Andy Bashir says public health is guiding his decision making. I know May has hit. We've all been inside for a long time. We want to get out with summer. We want public pools to open, but uh, we're having summer in the midst uh, of a, a deadly, aggressively spreading uh, virus that we haven't beaten yet. But Amy Albiero, chair of the Kentucky Swimming Board of Directors, says she has helped draft plans to open pools safely how they can monitor how many families come in, where they're going to sit. So social distancing and safety is also their top priority. She also believes each type of pool should be treated differently. On my Safe Splash Swim Labs, for example, um, is for fitness and instruction only. Governor Bashir says pools may be allowed to open in mid-July or August if the virus abates, but Albiero and Young say that's impractical for many pools. I see swimming being way safer than a basketball or a baseball or really any other sport because you've got your face in chlorinated water. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.